okay so welcome back so before we discuss any further i want you to uh, remind you that this is not a demonstration on how i root or roll back or even unlock the bootloader of a nokia 5 this is a video explaining how i did uh, roll back and unlocked bootloader and rooted with magisk and all that process so if you can follow this um, entire video then that means you can successfully uh, do all these things because uh, i did this a few years back so now it is hard to record uh, the entire process but uh, but i'm trying my best to uh, record all of all of uh, all those things and i've provided it the link for each of these steps in the description so just follow the steps one by one and you will be able to complete the process of actually unlocking the bootloader and uh, getting back to a state where you want it to be and okay let's start so i'm talk, uh, talking about uh, ta1053 so it comes with android 7 if i remember and yes so uh, it was buggy i remember that and uh, i was waiting for an update uh, we, uh, everyone was waiting for an update at that time so at that time later on nokia has released a december patch so the december patch is was a small update around uh, 11 uh, 110 megabytes so it was actually a, the recovery update for the upcoming android 8 and android 9 uh, installation so the recovery was kind of a uh, support layer for installing those uh, android versions so the december patch was the last update on uh, android 7 so after that uh, nokia pushed android 8 and android 9 and then we were able to successfully install those so there's a catch uh, after installing android 8 uh, from android 8 nokia has uh, they they pulled out the official support to unlock the bootloader from Android 8. So that means you can only unlock the bootloader if you're using Android 7. Lucky if you are. But if you're not, you, you have to roll back to Android 7. So uh, most of the people right now might be using Android 9 because that's the latest update, including the November patch. That, that was the support period for nokia 5 from nokia so after that you won't be able to uh, get any security patches that means it's over so i think now you can take some risks uh, try out some uh, unstable roms uh, but just saying okay so i'm not uh, getting too long i'm trying to be specific on this and okay let's start from rolling back to android 7 i just explained why i why we need to roll back to android 7 because that's the only way we can unlock the bootloader from android in android 7 there is a way to unlock the bootloader in the developers option and we don't have that in android 8 or android 9 so hope that point is clear and that's important to know okay so since that point is clear you can see i have android 9 zip that is the official android 9 not including the november security patch but it has the android 9 so you can then update the security patch but uh, I, I will provide the link for android every single file i mentioned in this video the link will be in the description okay if i miss any i probably don't because i have noted everything okay uh, then you can let me know so i have the android 9 zip and i also have the december patch the december update that we just mentioned um, so it has the recovery for rolling back okay what do we do we have to install if you are using android 8 or android 9 to roll back to android 7 you have to first install this december patch december update why that is important i just mentioned it gives the recovery mode and from that recovery mode we can install things okay okay now um so this was a video that i captured 
uh, when I was doing all this process it, it it's a long uh, it's, a, it's an old video but it it's um, a reference okay so I'm simply uh, you can see from my recovery mode that I'm using Android 9 here I'm using Android 9 so I'm, I'm what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to install the December patch right here okay so I'm going to install this and uh, it will say that it's failed but it's it's okay uh, it will reboot to the new Android 7 recovery mode and that's what we need uh, but if you want so you can see here then after rebooting I'm currently in Android 7 recovery mode okay good so just installed the December patch and you are in the stock um, Android 7 recovery mode but what if you don't have the stock recovery mode well uh, that's a, that's another catch but uh, because most of the most of you guys have installed TWRP if you are using Android 9 probably chances are less but uh, if you are like me I did okay so if you have if you don't have stock recovery mode then you have to install the stock recovery mode I have I haven't tried installing the December update from TWRP but uh, as I mentioned um, that's uh, that's something I didn't try but you can of course try it if that that is failing to install then you can install the uh, December I mean the stock recovery mode I will provide the link for the stock recovery mode in the description so how, how do you install it well it's simple you put your phone in the download mode and then fast boot install it that's it and then you are in the Android uh, 7 recovery mode I have a video explaining that how I did uh, install the recovery mode uh, from Android 9 so you can see uh, it's in the landscape mode but uh, pardon me okay I'm trying to install 7 December patch okay so I'm ADB site loading it so you can see it's flashing okay I mean it's, it's writing the file by using ADB side load so there are two ways install it by using the recovery mode or you can install it from the ADB side load okay that's it uh, it will say that the installation is aborted but that's okay and then I'm trying to install the Android 9 um, and uh, yes it's, it's installing but if this doesn't work for some reason then I recommend you to install this docker query mode just install the ADB E to flash the stock recovery partition that's not a hard thing to do because you have the ADB and your phone is in the download mode so there is nothing pulling back pulling back um, to install it so as I mentioned if for some reason if this is not working then I recommend you to reinstall this stock recovery mode and uh, the, the command for reinstalling stock recovery mode will be in the description it's just one line adb uh, you know fast boot command fast boot flash recovery and then the recovery mate it, it's that said okay so i'll provide that the stock recovery flashing method in the description so we saw that we can install this by using the recovery mode or by using adb so I'm first down downloading the December patch, which will link in the description, and all credit goes to the F4 PDA members, uh, and I will provide the link um, for each of these posts in the description as well. So um, this is the process of roll packing. You install the December patch, and then you install this uh, patch by using the OST tool. Uh, so the OST tool is a way to flash the um, Android 7. It's not hard. I mean, uh, you simply load the NB0 file, okay, and from this from this 7Z archive, you will get this NB0 file. Just simply select it from within the OST tool and just connect with you connect your phone, and that's it. Uh, 
you have flashed an Android zone. And then and the process of unlocking bootloader is critical um, because as I mentioned in this Android 7 uh, Nokia 5 uh, bootloader unlock method would only work if you are using Android 7. So there is a free way to unlock the bootloader and that is what I'm mentioning. So I'll provide the link for this specific post in the description as well. So you have to use any translator to, to convert uh, this Russian to English but this is the converted version of it. So in for unlocking the bootloader you you have to have a key okay so the key is provided by some random guy but it works okay this method works i tried it um, i i made a video uh, a month back explaining how i did in a vague manner it is not clear but i know it's not but since i found few people need all these steps that's why I'm making this video so since we have the key to unlock the bootloader then we take the script and we simply follow these steps okay it's a simple uh, ADB ADB command and uh, run the script running the script will unlock the bootloader you have to be patient and uh, simply follow these steps I'm, I'm walking you through the the procedure and and note the entire process okay so we rolled back to android 7 then we unlock the bootloader and now what okay you have unlocked the bootloader now you can go into the settings and simply update your device and you will receive all uh, ot updates even though you your device's bootloader is unlocked that's not a problem uh, so when you receive the Android 8, uh, probably it's, I don't remember, but it, I think it's Android 8 update or maybe Android 9. I, I think it's Android 9 update. It's Android 9 update. I don't, I don't remember. It's been a long time, but the, the process is simple, but the rollback process is somewhat uh, misguided somewhere. But this uh, simple post will give you the entire picture. I will conclude all these things in, uh, one more time. From Android 9, you roll, uh, you install the December patch. Now you are, you have the December patch, right? Uh, you can install that by using the stock recovery mode. If you don't have the stock recovery mode, try installing by using the TWRP. If that doesn't work, you can try. Uh, you can install the stock recovery mode, uh, stock recovery and then uh, after installing the stock recovery then try installing the december patch again and once you install it low uh, open up the ost tool and follow the gate to roll back to android 7 by uh, taking the nb0 file and uh, roll back to android 7 once you roll back to android 7 then you need to unlock the bootloader by following the the simple steps uh, sim just simply run the script and that's it the, the the script itself has this key to unlock it and once you unlock the bootloader just go to the settings of your device and uh, simply update to android 9 that's it so uh, and once you're in android 9 okay once you're in android 9 you can install twrp and the twrp is this this is the twrp image file which I will also give the link for this in the description. So you, you have everything. Okay. Now the entire thing is to just follow this video. So you have the TWRP, then just simply install this by using the uh, fast boot flash recovery and then this recovery file. Okay. So if your device is, um, has some problem or if you wish to, uh, reboot your device so for some reason if it's in a boot loop then uh, then also you can simply install this android 9 from your stock recovery okay so from the stock recovery install this android 9 zip android 9 zip is the uh, installation zip uh, which you can use 
and you go to the recovery mode and just simply install zip from sd card and choose this android 9 file and that will install the android 9 uh, that will that is going to be useful if you have a boot loop for some reason okay it's a rare case i just reinstalled my android 9 um, and that's why i'm saying okay so if you do have any questions let me know okay i'll try to help out and your best friend will be for pda.2 and uh, you have to write in uh, write in russian because this en entire website is uh, russian um, that's the only case okay so i hope you find this helpful um i know i'm not uh, showing the process of everything but i'm just telling you my story to follow up uh, so that you won't struggle uh, as much as i did okay so that's it i uh, hope you, i hope you find this helpful and uh, i wish you the very best thank you for watching